basically the Delhi government envisaged memorials seeped in the history of Delhi on the entry points to Delhi, which is the highways which are coming into Delhi as a welcome to Delhi. This is the first one out of the ones which have been conceived. And Guru Tegh Bahadur was considered to be an inseparable part of the history of Delhi rather than just being seen as a figure out of the religious sect of Sikhism to commemorate his entire sacrifice. Guru Tegh Bahadur was chosen uh, as a figure. The first memorial would come up. The concept of the memorial that, you know, the architecture is minimalistic. The central obelisk figures these moral physical and social strength of the Guru. The ten monoliths connote the ten Gurus of Sikhism. The first time that I visited this monument and the government of Delhi approached me to do something here, it was a no-brainer for me. When I had come here, the architecture is so minimalistic that it wasn't actually lending itself to the conceptualization process of making a multimedia show with architectural mapping and lights because character of a monument has to be multi-layered for a conceptualizer to, to imagine. But then one day I had a brainwave that a liquid kind of an experience can be created here. The Guru is popularly known as Hind Ki Chadar. We dedicated Kudrat Ki Chadar, as in the five elements, which in our language we say Panchtat. The five elements are space, water, earth, wind, and fire. My flight of imagination said that, you know, we can conceive a musical as a tribute to Hind Ki Chadar. Ustad Amjad Ali Khan, he's a maestro of Sarod. It's an Indian classical instrument. He is the one who's composed the music and interpreted the sound of the five elements. He was a great boon to this project. Without the kind of music that he's composed and without the kind of uh, space that he's created with our sensory experience, the show perhaps would not have been possible visually. The way we transform the place, because the circular ground is transformed into a pond, it's transformed into a desert, it's transformed into a garden. It's a very overwhelming kind of an experience for anybody. You take an experience back home and you wake up next morning, you're likely to see the images. We've seen a lot of projectors around. The one thing about Christie is that it's unimaginable otherwise to conceive a show which is weathering all the hardships of an outdoor install. There is extreme rain, there is extreme heat, there is extreme winter. The very fact that the Christie projectors can stand on their own in these extreme harsh weather conditions is the first for us to choose Christie. Then of course is the technological supremacy over all the other brands. And the third is the lovely people that we work with.